Many countries are having problems making this engine. This is a cryogenic engine. It is widely used in the upper stages of space launch vehicles. They provide the high efficiency and thrust needed to place heavy payloads into geostationary orbits. But presently, only six countries have been able to develop this engine. The first challenge that makes this engine so complex for many countries is the technical complexity of the engine. For a rocket to propel itself high into the sky, the engine must create combustion that provides enough thrust to the opposite side to overcome drag. Since there is absence of oxygen in space, the rocket needs to carry oxygen along with the fuel. Hydrogen is mostly used as fuel because of the high specific impulse produced when burned with oxygen. It doesn't corrode materials and it's not toxic to environment when burned with oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen are gases at room temperature, so storing them in gaseous form will make the storage tank bulkier and heavier. The gases need to be converted to liquid form. Both liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen are called propellants. Storing propellants in liquid form significantly reduces their volume compared to gaseous states. This high density means more fuel can be stored in a given space. Liquid hydrogen must be stored below minus 253 degrees Celsius and liquid oxygen below minus 183 degrees Celsius. Hydrogen and oxygen gases can only be in liquid forms at these extremely cold temperatures. So to store these liquid propellants, specialized storage tanks and insulation techniques are used to keep the propellants at cryogenic temperatures, minimizing heat transfer and preventing the propellants from boiling off. And this is where the problem comes in. Because these cryogenic temperatures must be maintained for extended periods, which is extremely difficult. Storing temperature can be very challenging. Heat leakage from the surrounding environment is a major problem. Even with the best insulation, some heat inevitably seeps in, causing the liquid propellant to start warming up, losing its liquid form. Materials used for storage and transport of cryogenic propellants must be able to withstand extremely low temperatures without becoming brittle or losing structural integrity. One of the challenges to overcome to develop reliable cryogenic engine technology is the huge amount of money required to develop the engine technology. Developing cryogenic engine technology is incredibly expensive. The extremely precise engineering, design, and operation at very low temperatures of cryogenic engines require the need for specialized materials and components that can withstand such extreme conditions without failing. Only countries with substantial space budgets and long-term commitment to space exploration can afford these costs. Even after development, the operational costs of using cryogenic engines are high. Another challenge faced by countries trying to develop the cryogenic engine technology is strategic importance. Countries that have developed the cryogenic engines view them as strategic nation assets because of the military and space exploration applications. The technology is often kept under tight control, making it very hard for other countries to acquire or develop on their own. Developed countries with advanced cryogenic technology, such as the United States and Russia, have historically imposed restrictions on the transfer of this technology to other nations. These restrictions are often part of the international agreements aimed at preventing the proliferation of missile technology. Due to the sensitive nature of rocket technology, many countries face export control restrictions, such as the Missile Technology Control Regime (MTCR) which limits the sharing of knowledge and technology related to space launch vehicles and cryogenic engines. This leads many countries to invest significant resources into indigenous development, which can be both time-consuming and costly due to the complexity of the technology. The best example was when India was denied cryogenic engine technology from Russia in the 1990s due to U.S. pressure under the MTCR, forcing India to spend over two decades developing its own indigenous cryogenic engine. The Indian Space Research Organization ISRO took years to develop its GSLV Mark III cryogenic upper stage. Although India successfully developed the cryogenic engine, ISRO faced several setbacks, delays, and failed launches before achieving success. Countries with established space programs may view emerging spacefaring nations as competitors. By limiting access to advanced technologies, they can maintain their competitive edge in the global space industry. The development of cryogenic engines has been an area where only few countries have succeeded. One of the significant reasons many countries have not developed cryogenic engines is due to political and economic will. This means that even countries with access to this necessary technology may not prioritize cryogenic engine development, focusing instead on other space technologies. Countries with strong international partnerships may even rely on technology transfer or collaborations from countries that have developed this engine, rather than developing their own capabilities from scratch. While cryogenic engines offer high efficiency and are crucial for heavy lifts 
space missions. Their development is hindered by technical complexity, high development costs, infrastructure demands, and international restrictions, which is why countries with the necessary resources continue to invest in this technology. Only a few countries like the United States, Russia, China, France, Japan, and India have managed to develop the cryogenic engine due to these significant orders.